Hello and greetings. This is Brother Minister again. There's nothing wrong with your video, and there's nothing wrong with your computer. What you are seeing and hearing is for real. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. You know, I'm going to tell you about a date that is so significant in the history of the United States of America and the world. It was January the 1st, 1863. And that was the date that the Emancipation Proclamation was signed and it was uh, put into effect. And it constituted that all slaves, okay, slaves of African descent that were on American soil, it declared them to be free. It declared them to be emancipated from their slavery. So the title of this video today, Whose Slave Are You? That's right. Whose slave are you? Because you are someone's slave. <laughs> we said, wait a minute, brother minister. I'm no slave. Yeah, you. You are someone's slave. Just stick around and I'll tell you. You know what? You're either a slave to sin or you are a slave or a servant of righteousness. Which one are you? Let me just tell you a little bit about sin. Sin is an evil, cruel, cruel master. First of all, what is a master? Master is someone who has complete control and authority over your life. A master is someone who controls your every move. A master tells you what to think, how to think it, when to think it, where to go, how to go it, about it, and you have no control. Okay? A master. Whose slave are you? Sin is a master that attaches itself to human beings even from birth. A cruel taskmaster. And it even affects little babies and children. Yeah, I know they're so beautiful. We love to play with them and touch on them and pick them up and kiss on them. But even in the depths of their hearts lies sin, even from birth, because of our Adamic nature from birth that we get from our father, who got it from their fathers, who got it from their fathers, who got it from their great-grandfathers, who got it from their great-grandfathers, who got it from Adam. Sin. It controls all of our motives. I mean, you're motivated to do something. Everything that you do, you have a motive for doing it. But sin controls our motives. It controls your behavior, our language, the way we speak, the words that we use. Oh my goodness. It controls our lustful inclinations, the things that you want to look upon, things that you want, things that you want to do. The depths of the, the things that are in your heart, the secret, deep, dirty deeds of darkness. Oh my goodness. Sin controls your attitudes and desires. It's in the depths of the human heart. And on your own strength, you can't control it, you can't stop it, you can't depart from it, even if you want to. You keep doing the same old things over and over and over. No matter how much it costs you, it costs you to lose out. Sin, ultimately, it promises so much. It promises so much. It promises pleasure. And there is pleasure in sin for a season. There is. I will lie to you if I sat here and told you there's no pleasure in sin. There's a lot of pleasure in sin. Sometimes a whole, whole lot of pleasure in sin. But you have to pay the piper. Oh yeah, God will forgive you for your sins. All of your sins. But you still have to pay the piper. What I mean by that? The repercussions of your sins? Yeah, sometimes they still follow you. <laughs> for a long time a long long time okay sin is a debtor who constantly increases your credit 
limit. Yeah, sin allows you to keep on here. It increases your, you can keep sinning and sinning and sinning and sinning. You just having the time of your life serving sin. But whose slave are you? Yeah, you on the other end of the video. Yeah, you right there. Whose slave are you? Sin does not discriminate. It has no racial boundaries. It has no gender boundaries. Doesn't matter if you're black, you're white, Latino, Hispanic, Oriental, Asian. It does not matter. It does not matter of your gender. If you're male or female, boy or girl. Sin is an equal opportunity destroyer. Okay? Sin promises so much pleasure. But it delivers a debilitating vengeance. It comes back with a vengeance. God detests sin so much because sin is a transgression of God's holy law. Okay? Sin converts loved ones into liars and deceivers. Sin causes mass confusion, corruption, and greed, and wars, mass murder suicides, rape, oh my goodness, sin causes the homes, your homes to be void of love and affection, sin causes people to inflict pain and violence and death and heart wrenching grief upon people and agony upon those with whom we share this earth with, sin destroys lives, don't you understand? Sin is an evil, evil, cruel master who through the lust of the flesh will cause people to inflict, to have illicit sex time and time and time again. Especially with someone that they're not even married with, married to. Oh my goodness. It causes fornication, adultery, murder, rape, incest, perversion. Sin is what causes us to have to bury our loved ones. Sin kills. It causes death. Okay? Wait a minute. Whose slave are you? Sin is what causes road rage. You know what? I'm getting ready to jump into this thing some more. Don't go nowhere because I'm going to tell you and I'm going to find out and you're going to find out Whose slave are you? Okay? Sin pays death wages. What do you mean by it pays death wages? The wages of sin is death. The wage is what you get paid, my friend. Just like you go on a job, you get paid your wages. Your wages may be $20 an hour, $15, 10 5 whatever the case may be. But your wages is your compensation, your recompense of, for your labor. Sin pays. It pays, it pays, it pays. Death. Okay? You know what? This brother minister, come to the next video. Because this is going to get interesting and you're going to find out whose slave you are. Okay? Because you are a slave. To someone <laughs> or something come to the next video this is brother minister oh, wait a minute what's the title of this video oh whose slave are you yeah <laughs> that's right this brother minister come to the next video I'll see you there